All I wanted was a tuna sandwich. You know, a sandwich. And then this. It was a Tuesday. I should have known. You know, I hate Tuesdays. I must have picked up the wrong tray at lunch. Hello? Are you alone? I thought it was my phone. It looked just like it. But by then, I remembered mine was back in the office. But by then, I'd heard too much. They kept talking about something called Scorpion. I knew something was up. Who is this? But by then, so did they. After the guys were gone, I headed back to my cube. The farther I got from the lunchroom, the weirder the whole thing seemed. Not like a dream, you know? By the time I got to my desk, I was pretty sure I'd imagined the whole thing. That's my phone. I checked Brandon's status. He's, he's one of my best friends. Hello. Yo. What's up? You're not gonna believe this. I told him about the phone, the guys, the chase. <sighs> You're not gonna believe this. Someone tried to hack in this morning. The network stopped them. Guess what they were after? Scorpion. You got it. But before Brandon could tell me any more, they showed up again. I could see them on my laptop. I don't know how they found me, but they did. They're here. I can't believe this. Who? The men in black. They're here. I gotta, I gotta go. One thing was clear. Whatever Scorpion was, these guys meant business. I asked Brandon about Scorpion, but he's a hardware guy like me. He didn't know, but he knew who would. Brandon pinged Sonia. They used to work together, but now she's on the executive track. She knew all about Scorpion. Apparently it's the code name for a big project we're developing for the government. It's software, all black ops, in the wrong hands worth billions. But I had more immediate problems, like how to get out of there. Brandon reached out to Renee. She works in facilities. She'd know. Brandon pulled us all together. Hi, Renee. I'm going to start a WebEx meeting. OK, hold on. Uh, let me invite in Jimmy and Sonia. With all of us on the line, a plan began to take shape. Sonia would reach out to an exec she knows, someone who could help us, and Renee would get the blueprints and help me find somewhere safe to go. Jack Peterson, please. Sonia Akimoto. According to Renee, the building plans were held off-site at a vendor. They're looking for someone who can get them. OK, it's coming in. Can you record this in case I need it later? I needed to get a closer look. I transferred the session to my laptop. I could see where I had to go, and it was none too soon. I still had their phone. They were using it to smoke me out. Somehow in the smoke, I lost them. I made it to the briefing center and hid in the Cisco telepresence room. When I called her back, Sonia had reached Peterson. I could meet him where I was. I don't know how the hell you lose him in his own cubicle. Don't talk. He's on a one screen system. If you don't say anything, he won't know you're there. Hey, Jimmy. How are you? Not good. These guys mean business. Are you somewhere safe? Yeah, room 26. Good. Stay there, and I'll come and get you. Peterson was pretty good. Even in 1080p, I couldn't tell he was lying. I should have been running. Instead... Are you alone? Yeah. Good. 
Peterson had it all figured out. He had a buyer for Scorpion and an exit strategy. The only thing standing between him and a billion was the four of us. What about his friends? How much do they know? They were gonna dump us in some landfill. By the time anyone noticed, they'd be in the Caymans. It was a good plan. Except he forgot about the record button. The whole time Peterson was talking, every word was being recorded and sent securely to the CEO. Security showed up five minutes later. I could get my life back. Stop running. Or not.